lot of people just walk on by and look, not want to ask, scared to ask. This is an icon. This is the postcard when you're talking about Cleveland history. It seems like it's so recognizable and such a part of Cleveland history that you don't think of it as being hidden. It seems like something right out on Front Street, literally right out on Front Street. You walk by and you don't notice all of the little details. The hidden gem is in the details. The details on the sides of the monument, the details on the inside of the statuary. So there's the inside that's a hidden gem that people walk by and never realize that there are doors that you can walk through with 9,000 names of the men that served during the Civil War engraved on our walls. And they're amazed. They're like, oh my God, I did not know this was here. I thought it was amazing. I've not been to this square before, not being from here. Yes, it's been here the whole time, 120 some years. Well, I think it's really a wonderful monument. It's nice that it has survived. It's a solemn place with beautiful artwork, but there's also a hidden gem underneath of what holds up this massive structure of stone. We call this the rabbit hole. This is our utility access into our tunnels, tonnage upon tonnage on top of a substructure that creates tunnels underneath our monument. We do tunnel tours every year. We've moved them to April, a little more representative of the solemn nature of our building. The last couple of years, we haven't been able to do that because of COVID. We're hoping that coming this April, we'll be able to get back to tunnel tours where we'll be able to welcome in quite a few people through our doors to see our tunnels. This is a place of reverence. This is a building that was built in 1894 by the veterans themselves. Reverence is the 9,000 on the inside that put their life on the line. 1,100 of them did die during the Civil War to end slavery, to end it. Cuyahoga County gave a lot, some gave all. You had young kids, young boys that left their homes to go down south to fight for a cause that wasn't even in the North, but they still went and fought and died. And we honor that within our monument. More than just a monument, yes. This was really a, a labor of reverence by the men who served, and that's something that they wanted to preserve, to pass along to future generations. We hope everyone will come down to take a tour of not only the outside of our statuary, but the inside as well, and see some of our spectacular hidden gems inside the monument.